Samsung seems intent on sticking with the dedicated Bixby button. So today I wanted to show you a way to remap that Bixby button to open Google Assistant manually by using the Tasker application. So one of the more recent updates with Tasker includes this Tasker secondary app. It's a companion app that gets installed when you install Tasker. So to do this, we're actually going to be assigning that secondary app a specific task. In our case, it will be opening the Google Assistant. And then we can assign Bixby to launch that specific application because Bixby currently has that feature built in. So to do this, we're going to go ahead and open up the Tasker application. And if you get any prompts whenever you open up the app, especially for the first time, just dismiss them. We don't need any of them. Once we have opened up Tasker, we're going to create a new profile by tapping, see so we're in the Profiles tab, and we're going to tap on the plus button right there. Then we're going to choose the Event option. So from here we have a lot of different categories to choose from, but we're actually going to dive into the Tasker category down here at the bottom and we're going to select the secondary app opened. When we see this stuff here, we can again, we just stop reminding, you can dismiss it however you want. So once we have this event right here for the secondary app opened, we're actually just going to tap the back button to take us back because we've already done that. And then we're going to open up a new task we're going to see this prompt automatically pop up whenever we go back. And you can choose to name this right here, but we're just going to tap the check button right there. And that's going to bring us into the new task. So from here, we're again, we're going to tap on the plus button right there. And now we're going to choose input. And then again, we just dove into a category. This is all our options. We're gonna look at the bottom and choose the voice command because this is what opens up Google Assistant or your current assistant, whatever you have selected in your default apps manager within the settings. So we're gonna choose that voice command. Again, that's going to take us into the actual command. It's gonna take us into that action and again, we're just going to go back. And then we're gonna go back again. So this is gonna take us to the main tasker page when we go back twice. And this is the task, this is the profile that we just created. So that whenever we open the secondary app, the secondary tasker app, it's going to initiate the voice command, which in our case is Google Assistant. And we can actually test this by just tapping on that Tasker secondary app right here. If you haven't selected a voice assistant yet, you're gonna get this prompt. So we're just gonna go ahead and tap on Google, tap on Always. Now, again, we can test this by open up the Tasker app. We can see it instantly goes into Google Assistant so depending on the device you have, if you have the Samsung Galaxy S10, you're gonna open up Bixby by pressing that dedicated Bixby button. And that's gonna open up Bixby from here. We can tap on the three dot menu, go into settings, and then you can choose to open up a specific application whenever you single press on that Bixby app button, or when you double press on it, depends on what you wanted to do. For Samsung Galaxy Note 10 owners, you can know that the software is a little bit different. We don't have a power and a Bixby button. They have combined that. So for Galaxy Note 10 owners, you can go into the side key settings area of the settings application and then choose how you want to go into that. We can actually, instead of going into Bixby and then telling it to open up the app, 
we can tell it to open up the app just like this because you're going to see that task or secondary app right there. So from here, now whenever we double press, instead of opening up Bixby, it's going to open up the task or secondary app, which we have just assigned to open up Google Assistant. So just to give you an example of that, double press. You can see that pops up just like that. And one last thing I wanted to, to tell you, you saw last time I activated Google Assistant with this shortcut setup, it brought up a notification about permissions. However, once you tap that notification, it's going to take you to a permission for Tasker to allow the draw over apps permission. Once you allow that, then whenever you open it up that way, you're not going to see that permission notification pop up and it's just going to work seamless like that. And this is going to be the same on the Galaxy S10 series. Whenever you press that button, you're going to see that permission notification pop up until you grant Tasker the draw over apps permission. So there you have it. That is how to open up the Google Assistant whenever you press the Bixby application, the Bixby button on Samsung Galaxy devices to have it open up Google Assistant instead.